hi everyone and welcome back for another video today i will be showing you how to use your meta human character and retarget the included animations in the unreal engine templates of the kinetic rush challenge so to start i'm going to extract the files then go into templates unreal and extract the files again go ahead and open the project file Here we are inside the templates, go ahead and open Quixel Bridge. Here you can use one of the presets, but for now I'm going to use one of my metahuman characters and I'm just going to export one of them. Then go into Content Browser, then go ahead and open its blueprint. If you go into the viewport, we see that the hair is missing, just go ahead and restart now. Now let's open its blueprint again. Go into LOD and change it into zero to prevent it from switching. Compile and save. Now we can retarget the animations. Go into Kinetic Rush animations. I'm going to use this jump animation. Go ahead and right click, choose retarget animations. Then here in the target, select your metahuman skeleton mesh. Then go ahead and export retarget assets. Here we can create a new folder and hit export. Then go ahead and open this IQ retargeter. If you try to play any animation here, you will notice that our metahuman character is behind the mannequin. And to fix that is very easy. Just go ahead into root settings and change the blend to source into one. Hit OK. And just like that, our animation is retargeted. So go ahead and export selected animations. Going back to the same folder. Here I like to give it prefix MH and hit export. OK, now we have our animation retargeted to our metahuman character. Now let's move to the sequencer open the sequencer so go ahead and drag our metahuman character into the scene go into transform and zero everything now we need to drag our metahuman into the sequencer now we are going to delete the body and face control rigs go into frame zero and click on this plus icon animation and search for our retargeted animation select it here if you scroll down you're going to see that our mannequin is using a different animation you can change it here so we can compare it with our metahuman character you can change the view into the camera now if you hit play you're going to see that the animation is working well and just like that we can use our metahuman character inside the sequencer now we are free to delete the mannequin from the sequencer. Just click on it and press delete on the keyboard. You can go into the mannequin and delete it. Now we got our metahuman character working well in our in the templates. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.